Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review for Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is the second book in the Stormlight Archive series so I have a review for the first book that I will link on the screen. There won't be any spoilers for this book in this review but I might talk about the first book. So this book takes place shortly after the events of the first book. Basically picks up where we left off so we still have Dalinar, Kaladin, uh, Adolin over there doing like the war stuff. We have Shallan and Yesna trying to come over to join them to like combine their research efforts and we pick up still with a lot of mystery around like the Radiance, who they were, what's going on with this Parshendi war, all of that. So first off I'm talk about the world building. The world in here was expanded so much more because we got a couple of different POVs and so we started to understand more about the political machinations and all the different players in this. There are like some secret society things going on. There are people trying to destabilize the world for various reasons. And then there's also this like magical element with like what and who are Spren? Who are the Parshendi? We learn more about the Parshendi and like the Parshmen and who they are in like their society and how they view themselves, why the world kind of views them the way that they do and like what's going on in their part of the world because we get like some very sporadic POV chapters from one of their main people. But we learn more information about like the Radiance, more information about Spren. I feel like stuff about Spren and like Syl and who Syl is and we get additional sort of Spren characters and so we sort of start to be able to piece together who and what Spren are and like how they tie into everything. We also get more information on the different types of powers and Radiance and Shard Bearers and what Shards are and some of that. So as you can tell, there's a lot more world building stuff that we get clued in on in this book. Next we talk about our characters. I really enjoy the characters in this series and I would say my guess is that this is kind of a Shallan book. This is not just following Shallan, but I would say that I feel like Shallan's story arc is the strongest here, where book one feels more like a Kaladin book. This feels like a Shallan arc book. We got a lot of flashbacks to Shallan's past. We got a lot more revealed about her. She's really coming into her own in this book and trying to like take on some different roles and get a little more confidence in herself. But we don't just follow her, obviously. She's not the only arc. I just would say that she's the strongest. We also get more stuff from Kaladin ongoing. Kaladin is sort of facing a clash of wills kind of thing in his own head. Uh, kind of has like a two wolves inside him situation going on so he's sort of having to come up against his ideals uh, and kind of go with that. Uh, Adolin is doing a lot of uh, kind of working with his dad and butting heads with his dad uh, and figuring out like how he can play a part in all of this. Then there's also a like potential small little love triangle between Kaladin, Shallan, and Adolin. Possibly, I mean I don't think that Brandon Sanderson is going to make it polyamorous but they all kind of like each other a lot. <laughs> so I wouldn't mind if they all are just like real chill uh, because I kind of like everyone's dynamic and it's it's very fun. Uh, and then Dalinar is continuing to have his like visiony stuff counting down. He's sitting there trying to warn everyone of what's going on, but he has some really cool moments as well. Lastly, we talk about the plot. Like I mentioned, this is, we get more information, but it also feels faster moving than Way of Kings. Like I flew through this. I've been listening to these on audio, even though I have physical copies and I've really been enjoying the audiobooks. but the, there's just more going on and there's like all this like sort of political machination stuff. It doesn't quite feel as slow and there were points in the first book that it felt a little bit more excruciating and this doesn't quite have that. I would say that this is between a four and a five star for me. I don't quite know exactly where I sit. Maybe five stars. Uh, but I did really enjoy this and I am going to talk about a few points very briefly in a gush video. I haven't done a gush video in a minute. Uh, just there's a lot of meat in here. So if you want more of my spoilery thoughts on a few key points, I'm not gonna go into like in depth about everything. There are so many Stormlight Archive videos out there for you to watch if you want that, but just about some of the like major reveals and my thoughts about that. So I will link that on the screen for you to check out. So comment below, let me know what you thought of Words of Radiance. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.